Hi, good evening. I am Poem Praise 2. Peace and blessings to you. This evening, I am going to share with you 14 early autism signs and symptoms in young children. Now, for this same article, I did this article on my IG channel, Poem Praise 2. But you want to know something, y'all? For some odd reason, my camera, which I wasn't touching it, it like cut off, cut back on. So I don't know if, if some of the actual information that I was relaying was either delayed, or cut out. So I, I let individuals know that I was going to share it on my YouTube channel, which is what I'm doing right now, okay? So let me go ahead without further ado get into this information. Now, I know it says young children, okay? But if we're out here and we have individuals that may have had a misdiagnosis um, regarding the actual symptoms, I, I'm figuring this could be for young children, toddlers, middle age, okay? I just want to share with you the 14 signs. Now, these are the 14 early autism signs and symptoms in young children. Now, this was published on May the 2nd, 2018 and updated August 30th, 2020. It's a health check certified by Dr. Gerald Morris and Emily Lockhart. Now, Autism Spectrum Disorder, RASD, is distinguished by a wide variation of social communication and uh, cynical behaviors that are considered somewhat out of character for children. Every autistic individual will experience these symptoms differently and on a mild to severe spectrum. However, the following 14 behaviors are considered common early warning symptoms of autism in children. Number one, disconnection to others. Now, children with autism often seem distant or disconnected to loved ones. For example, parents and siblings. For instance, they may seem to be emotionally disconnected from others and may not register the difference between facial cues. In other words, children with autism often don't react any differently to a frown or a scowl, as they would to a smile or a laugh. It is important to keep in mind that autistic children are not disconnected emotionally themselves. They simply don't understand or pick up on social cues as efficiently or quickly as other children. In addition to not reacting normally to the facial expressions and social cues of others, babies with autism also tend not to smile or react joyful themselves. They also have a diminished or non-existent capacity for the normal back and forth sharing of sounds or facial expressions. And typically, these system symptoms, excuse me, will manifest by the time the baby is about nine months old. Number two, coming to you from Poem Praise too, is apparent lack of empathy. Another characteristic common to children with autism is that they have difficulty empathizing with others. While empathy is fairly advanced emotion, and it can be difficult to effectively detect and evaluate in babies and young children, there are specific cues that you can look for. Generally speaking, autistic children seem to have difficulty understanding or appreciating situations from other people's 
perspectives. This is because they think that everyone understands the world as they do, which can cause confusion, or the inability to foresee or understand the actions of others. As with the emotional disconnection, this does not happen because a child lacks the capacity for empathy. It is simply a sign of a developmental delay or disability that indicates the possibility of autism spectrum condition. Autistic children tend to have a relatively narrow and limited range of emotions as well. And empathy may not yet be part of the child's emotional vocabulary. Number three, indifferent to human interaction. Most children are very social by nature. However, infants with autism don't engage by staring at the faces of others, responding when hearing their name, mimicking facial expressions, or grasping at the fingers or hands of others during play. Instead, children with autism often just don't seem very interested in engaging in normal developmental games and activities, including socializing and imitating other people. These symptoms typically begin to show when a child is one year to 18 months of age. As socialization with other children continues, the symptoms may become more pronounced and noticeable. For example, by the age of three, children normally want to play with toys and other kids. Autistic children tend to have less interest in toys and seem perfectly happy to play alone. By the age of four, an autistic child may be completely ignoring other children when they're in preschool our group play situations. We're going to go on to number four. Now, number four is emotional outbursts. Okay? Now, in more rare cases, children with autism can display unbalanced emotional reactions to normal situations. For instance, they throw a temper tantrum inappropriately or show physically aggressive behavior to themselves, their parents, their siblings, or other children. For example, biting or head banging. They may seem to be unable to control their emotions and physical response, especially when they find themselves in new, strange, or stressful situations. See, that, that's a very important key right there in regards to the emotional outbursts, especially when they find themselves in new, strange, or stressful situations. Okay? Now, parents should carefully monitor their children's social responses throughout their development and familiarize themselves with the important milestones and behavioral expectancies a child should display when he or she reaches certain ages. Though relatively rare, these types of emotional outbursts should be noted and documented. That way, if the sy symptoms develop to a point where you need to report them to the child doctor, you'll be able to provide specifics. This will aid the doctor in making a diagnosis if an ASD is indeed the root cause. Number five, delayed language development. By three years of age, the majority of infants start to babble or mimic the language of those they interact with, actually pronouncing a single word when they point to an object or try to get the attention of their parents. However, Infants with autism may not start to babble or speak until much later. Some won't start to display any significant language skills until they start to work 
with a speech therapist. As a general rule of thumb, use the following guidelines. By the age one, children should be able to say a few simple single words. By 18 months, children should have at least six words in their vocabulary. By age two, children ought to be able to string simple two-word phrases together. By the age of three, children should have the capacity to form complete, albeit basic, sentences. Children who fail to meet, fail to hit these milestones, may have autism, particularly if delayed language development is accompanied by other symptoms. Number six, prone to nonverbal communication. Due to the fact that autistic children don't develop verbal communication skills as early as others, they may delay, they may display a propenticity for nonverbal communication. For instance, they may resort to visual or physical means of communication such as drawing pictures or using gestures to make requests or engage in back and forth dialogue. Another telltale sign of autism is that children tend to regress in their verbal skill set. For example, they may lose vocabulary, fail to build or newly acquired communication skills or revert back to early forms of communication. Look for these symptoms. Not only when you interact with your child, but also when your child interacts with other boys and girls. You may notice that while other children verbalize communication, even though their skills are limited, autistic children tend not to. Autistic children who communicate in gestures may also display an inhibited ability to drawing to draw, meaning from back and forth gestural engagement with parents and adult caregivers. Number seven, difficulty understanding figurative expressions. Often children with autism also have trouble understanding that people sometimes express themselves figuratively. Lee. As mentioned, they may not de- derive any secondary meaning from demeanor or facial expressions. They may also detect communication cues delivered through tone of voice. For example, they can't distinguish a happy tone of voice from a sad or an angry one. And unlike children following standard paths of development, they don't develop the ability to identify sarcasm or understand body language. A related symptom is that autistic children tend to have more trouble distinguishing between what's real and what is make-believe. While most, if not all, children have active imaginations and can't distinguish fact fiction the way older children and adults can. For autistic children, there often seems to be no line at all between what's real and what's imagined. Interestingly, autistic children may display an extremely vivid imagination, and some seem to prefer inhabiting their own imaginary worlds. Number eight, repetitive behaviors. Individuals with autism are somewhat prone to repetitive behavior. For instance, they may arrange and rearrange the same group of objects, roll back and forth for extended periods of time, flutter their hands or repeat the same word or phrase in what appears in obsessive manner. This is one of the most easily identifiable symptoms of autism, and it's one most parents will be on the lookout for early on in the child's development. Autistic children also tend to have impaired motor skills as compared with children who are on a standard developmental 
hers. They often have trouble learning to hold or use crayons and pencils, and they may only be capable of creating unilegible shapes when other children their age can draw recognizable pictures. Even if the child is introduced to other activities and may show interest in them for a while, regression to abstractly repetitive behavior is a sign that the child may have an autism spectrum condition. Number nine is pica. Children and even adults with autism are prone to pica, which describes a behavioral tendency to eat objects that are not food. For instance, a child may need monitoring outdoors or at school so they don't consume dirt, clay, or paste. Autistic individuals may also frequently put fingers and other unsafe objects inside their mouths. They may also attempt to chew and or swallow these objects. Interestingly, pica is something that can also develop in pregnant women, although researchers have yet to uncover a uh, definitive link between pregnancy pico and autism rates in children born to those mothers. Obviously, a pico poses some significant risk to the child's health. He or she may be more prone to bacterial infections and internal injuries while many children try to eat inedible objects. The key difference is that autistic children will continue to do so at a relatively average age and may engage in this behavior despite understanding that the things they're trying to eat aren't food and don't belong in their mouths. Number 10, sensitivity to external stimuli. Sensitivity to external stimuli is another early warning sign of autism. For example, Autistic individuals may become stressed or agitated when, explo when exposed to specific noises, bright lights or particular smells, tastes or textures. They may also become hypersensitive to certain stimuli. In other words, they will insist on wearing certain items of clothing or colors, prefer rooms with bright lights or loud sounds, and enjoy touching or playing with specific body parts. Many autistic children also display emotional stress when they are deprived of their preferred stimuli. Alternately, the opposite can happen. An autistic child may avoid certain colors, clothes, sounds, lights, or areas of the home for no apparent reason. If they are exposed to these stimuli, they may respond by lashing out or having unusual severe temper tantrums. Researchers theorize that children with autism have highly sensitive ways of mentally processing these stimuli, which leads to the unusual behavior and reactions. So they're highly sensitive. Autistic children have highly sensitive ways of mentally processing these stimuli, which lead to the unusual behavior and reactions. So we have to make note of that, of the high sensitivity and the mental process and the processing stuff in the mind. Okay? Number 11, yeah, we getting through. I'm seeing, I'm going to make it to 14, okay? Number 11 is obsessive behaviors. Now, this warning sign doesn't typically present itself until the child's a little bit older and can begin engaging in activities or routines. Uh, children with autism will often show signs of inflexibility. This includes obsessive and repetitive behaviors. They will find one or few activities that they enjoy. Sometimes these activities are very unusual and they will want to do them repeatedly throughout the day. Helpguide.org provides some detailed examples of what these obsessive behaviors might include, especially as they get older. For example, their need for a rigid routine might include taking the same route to school every day. 
an inability to adapt to changes in schedule or environment, an unusual attachment to toys or strange objects, or become obsessed with a narrow topic of interest, usually something that involves numbers or symbols. They will enjoy repeating the same action over and over again, spending long periods of time starting staring at moving objects like a ceiling fan, or instead of playing with a toy, they only focus on one aspect of it, like spinning the wheels on a toy car. Number 12 is lack of communication. Branching off slide five, which lists delayed language development as an early symptom. Healthychildren.org says that children with autism will also struggle with communication in a much more general sense. Not only will they be unable to speak or extremely delayed in their language development, they might seem completely uninterested in communicating at all. Now, as a result, They will not show any interest in sparking conversations or being able to participate in even a simple conversation. They will not respond to facial expression, use facial expression, notice when their name is being called, or even point at things when they need something. When they do start speaking, their language is often underdeveloped. For example, they might confuse their pronouns and use you when they should be saying I and vice versa or repeat sentences they hear without understanding the meaning behind them. Healthychildren.org says this is called parroting or echoing. And certainly with the with the delayed uh, language development. And then the we talked about the speech therapist. So they know that the child may know you're talking with a speech therapist in regards to to speech and to uh, the pronunciation and the enunciation of words, right? So that could lead to the lack of communication in reference to that, you know? We're going to go, we're going to keep it moving here. I got two more to go, y'all. I'm going to get to 13, okay? Now, for number 13 is seemingly unresponsive. According to Autism Canada, the signs of autism can begin as early as 12 to 24 months, while it is often hard to get a diagnosis before the age of 24 months. One of the best indicators of autism is the absence of normal behavior. And there are many other signs on this list that can't truly be recognized until the child is older and a child's responsiveness can be tested while they are still quite little. Children with autism may appear deaf, respond unevenly or not at all to sounds. Helpguide.org lists several signs of unresponsiveness in babies and toddlers such, such as if they won't make eye contact, respond to familiar noise voices, follow objects visually, or even a pointed gesture. They will not imitate facial expressions, movements, make noise to get attention, or use any gesture to communicate, such as waving or smiling. Now, the last one, number 14. Don't like being touched or cuddled. Okay? So, you know the five love languages? Okay, physical touch is not, is not that's not going to fill up their love bank, okay? Because for autistic children, they don't like being touched or called up. And this is more information regarding that. It can be devastating for a parent to learn something is wrong with their child. Yeah, it can. Let me repeat that one more time. See, it can be devastating for a parent to learn something is wrong with their child. But luckily... With autism, an early diagnosis 
ideally by 18 months, can make a huge difference. Once a baby is passed, its infancy stage. Parents might begin to notice their child does not like to be touched or cuddled like a typically developing child would. Autism Canada also notes that children with autism do not like to be touched, which makes it hard to console them during emotional outbursts or tantrums, especially when they are young. It can affect their ability to bond with parents, siblings, or even make friends in the future. Mm. That bonding, it can affect even making friends in the future. Well, my, my, my. Y'all, those are the 14 signs that I have for you for early autism signs and symptoms in young children. And I'm almost looking at that spectrum like you could look at that for the young children for middle age. They haven't been diagnosed, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it's a late diagnosis. Uh, high school, these are some things that we should be looking at. Now I know some teachers, y'all might have got schooling on that. Um, just so you could be on the lookout for that in your classroom. I'm not a teacher, you know, but I, I have taught, so I don't have that. But, you know, I don't know if y'all took some classes for, um, I know special ed, more than likely special ed has regarding uh, autism or ADHD, which I might have a reading on that too to have signs and symptoms for that. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. I wanted to share that with you, uh, these 14 signs and symptoms and I do thank you for listening to this read. I, he I held you a little bit long. Yeah, I did. But I wanted to make sure that you got all the information without my camera going on and off or uh, some of it being not all the information of what I read. So, again, I thank you. I want for you and your family, I want for you to be safe, uh, to be well, and to be blessed. It be at thy will. I poem praise too I'll talk and I'll see you later 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 y'all alright till next time later y'all